All right, Fritz fam, today we are at Quality Goldfish with, uh, you know, a brand new player in the game, Levi Peterson. I know that you've been writing articles for reef builders. You've been making some noise in the aquarium industry because you're young, but you're doing your research. Quality Goldfish has been around for 40, 50 years. Yep. Um, and they do more than goldfish. They are a wholesale distribution center uh, for both dry goods and marine and freshwater fish. And coral, Levi heads up the, the coral side yep. of, of the of Quality Goldfish. A lot of people are confused. They're like, Quality Goldfish yeah. shouldn't be goldfish but it started off as a goldfish facility, then they developed into so much more. Yep. Today, I wanna to talk to you about your top three marine fish here. And then I got a surprise for you after that. I haven't told you anything about it. Oh boy. A few moments later. So they definitely tend to be a little aggressive. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> First off, tell me why the water is yellow. The water is yellow because all these systems are treated except for the inverse system. These are treated with copper. Yep. and uh, nitrofurazone, yep. but we definitely want to try to give the uh, fish the best chance of survival in captivity, mm -hmm. and we want to be able to give our customers the best quality fish that we can provide to them, so. All right, what uh, are your top three here? Top three fish, uh, if we want to start off here, these are uh, recently, uh, we just imported these. These are trimagobies. Uh, they're kind of like peppermint colored. Uh, they're super unique. I'm not sure on the full scientific name of these guys because there's a lot of random scientific names for these trimagobies, uh, but they're super colorful and they're great for uh, nano aquariums. They're relatively hardy. They like meaty foods like uh, brine shrimp and even some cyclopods because they are relatively small. Right. Um, they will get to about an inch to an inch and a half big. Picking one for the small aquarium, yes. obvious, yes. right? You put this in a big aquarium, you're never going to see it again. Yes. You also have a black ray shrimp goby here. Yep. That's one of my favorite right here. Um, and I don't know what this guy is here. It's hard for me to tell because I don't really see a lot of his coloration. Some sort of looking like Another a sand prawn system. goby or something. Yeah. yeah. What else are you picking? So this is my all-time favorite fish uh, as of like last year. This is a Cuban hogfish, huh? uh, Bodanius buckchavis, I believe. You're gonna want at least 100 gallons or more with this guy. With a lot of the predatory tanks, you don't get as much of the color mm -hmm. a lot on some of the larger fish. This one definitely adds some color and you can kind of put it in a predatory tank as long as the fish that you have in there aren't gonna be able to eat him. Aggressive, they yeah. will eat like shrimp, mm -hmm. snails, and um, even some corals they like to pick at. So just keep that in mind. They're definitely not reef safe. You picked a snail eater. Yes, picked a uh, snail eater. I appreciate that, Levi. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> trying to I'm sorry. Nice I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> I would not put them in a reef tank specifically. Even with like some other predatory fish, I definitely noticed he's picking at some of the corals, so. Okay. All right, what else you got? You got right. last fish here. This is Queen Levi's Angel fish. Top three. The Queen Angel. The Queen Angel. We got okay. quite a few specimens. This is a juvenile. These are juveniles. We've got some adults on the backside here. Right. Um, super colorful. They come out of the Caribbean. I should have mentioned that for the uh, Cuban hogfish as well. You don't see them in the hobby as much because there's not as many people collecting uh, Caribbean fish as there used to be in past years. They do get rather large. I've seen some very large ones in the wild. Uh, so I'd probably say 200 gallons specifically right. uh, for a full adult. Uh, they are kind of like an omnivore, so they will eat some meaty foods, but they do enjoy some algae. All right, there you have it. That's Levi's top three here at Quality Gold Chris. But I have a surprise for him. We are going to test Levi oh. and see how good he really is. I'm going to pick my top three, and we'll see what he knows about those fish that he didn't pick. So I didn't tell Jimmy, I didn't tell Levi. But the very first fish I, I want you to talk about is the tile fish. Now tile I saw fish. one here a second ago, um, right here. Tell me about this one. The Oreni tile fish. So this comes out of like Africa. It's super rare. You don't see them too often. Super expensive, not for the faint of heart. Yeah. And tile fish in general tend to be a little more finicky, uh, especially adjusting to the aquarium life. Yeah. So I definitely wouldn't recommend a beginner getting into these. Sounds like Levi knows what he's talking about. Do you know the scientific name of this one? Ha! Tile fish. Know. <laughs> All right, those are old Randy tile fish. I, I have another fish for you to, to check out here. Tell me what you know about the spotted tile The fish, Cubixis Levi. box fish. So it's yeah. super unique. They're black as juveniles and then they get some really bright uh, yellow coloration um, as they start to grow. Uh, some even reach a foot to a foot and a half. They get pretty large. Right. Um, but they do like to pick at some fleshy corals. Do not put them in a reef tank. I've seen people keep juveniles in a reef tank for an extended period of time until they start picking at like your zoanthids, 
That's what you got. That's it. That's what I got. That's everything you would say about it. That's what I got. Yes. You're, now, you wouldn't say to put it in a slower flow aquarium because it's not a strong swimmer. So I've you seen, I've say seen to some put of these it in a fish in some, for less competitive tank mates because it's so slow to get to the food. You definitely want to. So I've actually seen people keep these with seahorses. That's actually a. That's decent, what they do. Yes. I've seen because a lot of people. A do lot of people keep them with seahorses. Slower moving just fish, like Sean said. Um, I see. You, you got to advise <laughs> these people, Levi. I'm trying. You okay. got to tell them slow flow and not a competitive eater. Yes. yes. Okay. Slow All flow. Right. Okay. So he's gotten four out of five correct so far. I'm going to give him a, I'm give him a, a C plus on this one because these are critical details that you need to know critical. about Levi. Yes. Slow flow, yes. not a competitive eater. You yes. got to leave these details in, okay? Now, come on, Levi. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's it's nervous. fresh water? Yes, it is fresh water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Here we are. Tell me about. Where'd that guy go? Hey. All right. Uh, you said the Levi doesn't know freshwater fish, right? So tell me which freshwater fish to quiz him on. I mean, probably the diver. Okay, yeah. Come on here. Are. Yeah, let's see. What are these? Levi, what are, what are these stripy what are these? things called? Oh, uh, okay, so it's definitely looking like there's some type of barb. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, rhombus barbs? Oh, rhombus barbs. Wow. <laughs> now tell me about how you take care of these guys. Well, I can't either. <laughs> so these guys uh, definitely don't put them in a planted aquarium. Uh, they will definitely eat plants. A lot of bars eat plants. Um, in fact, most species that I know of eat plants. They can tend to be a little more aggressive, so don't keep them with like your slower moving betas or even tetras, because uh, they do like to shred fins. Um, and even some of your more delicate fish, like the knife fish, I would definitely re not recommend keeping any eels or anything with them. So they could definitely tend to be a little aggressive. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he got it! All right, he knows salt water. He knows a little bit about fresh water too. He's over here at Quality Goldfish, taking care of the, the reef side of things, the coral side of things. So if you buy coral from here as a fish store, or you're buying coral from a, a fish store that buys from Quality Goldfish, you can trust that these coral have been taken care of. Levi, you're doing such a good job as a young influencer in the aquarium industry. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna keep my eye out on you here at Fritz. And remember, save me a couple of Christmas tree rocks, gotcha. okay? If you liked this video, definitely like and subscribe to the Fritz Aquatics page. Hit that little alert button so that you know when the next Fritz video comes out. All right, Levi, have you watched any of my videos? I have. Okay, so I want you to give my outro here. If you don't know it, then I'm leaving, okay? All right? Oh, boy. All right, uh, everybody, until next time. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Do it. He stinks. All right, yeah. Levi, you get a seat. All right, snail it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it too. I knew it. It took a second. Okay.